Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 16th of January. I'm James Spann. It's the morning edition. I know a lot of folks are off work today, but hey, we're here and we've got weather changes coming up. Thought I'd go back and show you some of the sunsets over the weekend. Ooh, goodness. Isn't that nice? That was coming from Chihaw State Park. Thanks to uh, Jeff Drake, one of our sky watchers, for that great uh, scene there. And look at this one from the Black Warrior River late yesterday. This was from Tommy Mosley. Just amazing. We had some high clouds and really, really nice scenes. And uh, this is from Smith Lake from one of our viewers up there. And again, all those are over on the blog if you want to see them. But uh, thanks to the folks that took the time to send those in. Okie dokie. Got some changes coming up. Got a broad southwest flow aloft developing, troughing over the west and Got some rain to deal with uh, over the next 36 hours. Here's a look at our numbers this morning. The colder readings on the eastern side of the state. The warmer values near the Mississippi border. As uh, clouds are increasing there, but today becomes mostly cloudy. Have a pretty good south wind and just maybe a little rain in spots. Around the nation, you can see that uh, surge of warmer air coming up from Texas over the central states with the really cold air limited to the northeast and uh, really Montana, and that's about it. Again, it's a deal where the cold air will surge down in here briefly and just retreat as quickly as it arrived. There's the radar early this morning at 5.06, and uh, a lot of that's not reaching the ground because the air near the surface is so dry. But again, we might see a few sprinkles today, a few developing showers tonight, but clearly the better chance of rain will be during the day tomorrow and maybe tomorrow night. Here's our watch warning map. Uh, generally speaking, it's pretty calm around the nation. Some snow issues in the northeast and the northwest. Kind of cold out in California with that trough, but again, not much happening around here. This is the convective outlook today. There's no formal severe weather risk. The 5% probabilities are on the board over much of Arkansas and some of the adjacent states. And then tomorrow, uh, those low-end percentages are over Alabama and parts of Mississippi and Louisiana. And we'll deal more with that here in just a moment, but obviously it's not a big severe weather threat. And the rain for the next five days, valid through Friday evening at 6 o'clock, suggesting about one inch for much of the state. We'll check the uh, modeling here. This is the GFS, the 06C run, valid at uh, 12 noon today at 500 millibars. You can see the troughing out west. And down below that, a pretty good south wind is blowing and that could mean a few sprinkles or maybe a shower today but uh, mostly dry and we turn warmer uh, we'll be up in the low 60s today tomorrow how about upper 60s the uh, nam is printing 68 for the high and really this is the gfs not showing a whole lot of rain that the surface low is way up there around uh, uh, detroit a thousand millibars of course much colder air in the wake of that cold front look at some of the severe weather parameters this is the uh, instability tomorrow evening at six o'clock off the nam and this is the most aggressive of all the models with the uh, surface base cape and uh, it's got the instability peaking out at about 750 joules near meridian mississippi tomorrow evening with amounts of about 500 joules across much of alabama and the instability at the, or i'm sorry the uh, shear this is the zero to three kilometer storm relative helicity uh, about 200 uh, units there which, again, would support sustained updrafts. And, you know, like we've seen so many times in the cold weather season, this is just kind of what they all look like. This is the uh, Energy Helicity Index. It does peak at over 1 near Meridian where the capes are high. And, again, this is tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. This is the uh, RPM, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And, really, it's not bullish on convection there, just showers because uh, the instability values are not as high off the RPM. They're generally under 500 joules. So you know the deal. We're not going to mention severe weather, but we've got to watch the radar for surprises. You know, keep in mind, we had an EF2 tornado in western North Carolina last week with one of these type deals, you know, uh, low cape, moderate to high shear. So we'll keep an eye on things, but it looks like, you know, rainfall amounts of one half to one inch. And then Wednesday, got broad troughing over the east and down below that, uh, Weather turns a little colder. Both uh, the GFS and the NAM show us in the upper 40s, the high of about 48, with the sky becoming sunny. And Thursday will be uh, cold during the morning. We should be down in the 20s to start the day, but a high in the 50s. 
And then Friday, the next fast-moving weather system comes in here. Uh, we'll go to Friday night at midnight. Got a uh, 1,008 millibar low right on top of us with a good round of rain, if this is right. And the GFS now has the rain out of here at midday Saturday. This is noon Saturday. But a little caution here, Will Robinson. This is the uh, European at noon Saturday, and it's slower. It's got it raining in here Saturday. So we'll just mention a chance of rain Friday night and Saturday and fine-tune the timing as we get closer. But as you know, we tend to trust the European, at least this season, in the medium range and even in the shorter range, quite frankly. And then Sunday, it's all gone. Sunday should be a beautiful day and very mild. Hey, look at those thickness values now. If this is right, uh, we'll be up around 70 this weekend. Uh, in fact, the GFS is printing 71. Ooh, boy, that's going to bring out some spring fever. Monday of next week, here comes the next weather system. Tuesday, pretty good-looking trough. This is the uh, 24th, and down below that, a good round of showers and storms. But the uh, main surface low is up there over Lake Michigan, so hopefully that will prevent these severe weather issues. And on the 25th, where the rain is gone, but it's not really cold. I'm telling you, until we get a pattern flip, for you people looking for some kind of long-lasting cold snap, it's not going to happen like this. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 30th of January. Another deep trough and another quick shot of cold air, if this is right. But, you know, it just won't sit in here for a long time. And there's the deal. That's the uh, the top chart. That's the NAO ensemble forecast for 15 days. One member brings it strongly negative, but that's an outlier. Almost all of them keep it positive. And again, until that can change, the weather just not going to change a whole lot around here. You know the deal. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.